Well, hello everybody. Marty Graceberg here, host of the Teach and Profit Summit. And here with me is Laura Pennington. And we're going to be talking about how to train and hire VAs or virtual assistants. I know sourcing and delegation is huge, huge, especially for us online creators and online entrepreneurs. And Laura is an expert on this. So that's what we're going to be tackling on. But first off, Laura, welcome to the stage. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. So thank you. I am excited as well. And I'm sure our audience too, because this is a huge, huge, huge topic that we're going to be covering on. But first off, why don't you just share with us your background story of how you got started that led you to doing what you're doing today? Sure. So I was on track to become a professor. Um, I had gotten my master's degree in political science. I had entered a PhD program in public policy. I was taking those courses at night and I figured if my classes are at night, I might as well take a job during the day as well to give me more experience in the educational sector. So I took a job teaching seventh grade in Baltimore City and I absolutely hated it. It was exhausting. I knew that this wasn't for me and it actually burned the desire to be an educator in the traditional sense right out of me. So here I am in the midst of a doctoral program and everything I've planned for has just kind of come to a screeching halt because I don't want to do it anymore. So during this time of you know trying to figure out what to do with my life, I thought, what skills do I already have that could easily transition into something else? And a Google search for how to become a freelance writer really was the first step that I took to initiate this process of owning a business online. I just intended to get some extra money every single month, but it grew very quickly. I was making more part-time freelancing than I was at my full-time day job within three months. And I stayed at my day job for a year and then left that position and have been freelancing and doing project management, virtual assistant work, uh, coaching other freelancers, building courses since 2013. And my entry into outsourcing and course creation came uh, when I was profiled in Business Insider and a lot of people in my personal world who saw the story that I shared on my Facebook wall of how I made this transition reached out to me and said, please teach me how to do what you do. So the first course that I ever made, uh, I made it one week at a time and delivered the material just like that to two friends of mine who were taking the course just because they were interested and realized that juggling a full-time freelance writing project management client load and doing courses and working on my PhD in the background, um, I wasn't going to be able to do this myself uh, with just me forever. So it worked for about a year, but it was obvious that I was going to have to start outsourcing or get rid of some activities on my plate. And that wasn't really an option. And at, in the same time that I was considering doing this for my personal life to help me get my you know, citations formatted for my dissertation and assist with some other things, I was contacted by a recruiter who began hiring me to work building digital teams of other freelancers, hiring virtual assistants, graphic designers, writers, and the like to manage projects. So I did that for TrueCar, I did that for Microsoft, for a company called Health Equity Labs, for a company called Neighborhood Guru. So I have a tremendous amount of experience hiring people, training them, getting them to turn things in effectively, and kind of realized along the way that that's one of my specialties, is helping people outsource and get things off their plate, but to do it the right way. 